Hey there, friends. Snibs again. Out here in the garage tonight, doing a little bit of goofing around. Uh, no mail call today. <laughs> kind of a bummer. But uh, I was strolling through Tractor Supply, and uh, I saw a couple of things. One I've been looking for for quite a while. It's actually one that uh, I've tried to buy off of Amazon, and uh, <laughs> for some reason Amazon won't ship it to me in New York. The weird rules that they have. Uh, but the other one is a new release, uh, and uh, I just heard about it. Another video, another guy put up a video about it, and uh, I was looking around, and one tractor supply didn't have it, and then I was at another one later on in the day, and they did have it in stock, so I grabbed it. But uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and uh, get breaking in here. So the first one is the, the new release, uh, and this is a... Uh, released by Umarex and it is a lever action BB gun very very reminiscent of a daisy um, I wonder how close it is to the uh, Air Venturi but uh, we'll go ahead and take a look here so it says that it's a uh, up to 300 feet per second with steel BBs <clears throat> 10 for use by persons age 16 and older. So, interesting that they would uh, market it like that. Most uh, daisies like this. So this one does have a synthetic stock as well, which is different from the uh, Air Venturi and the new Red Rider uh, are both a wooden stock but daisies have been running with uh, plastic stocks for a long time so so it does have the uh, almost exactly the same loading gate as the uh, the daisies up front here Let me grab my I'm gonna grab my red rider and my John Wayne ooh, my air venturi John Wayne real quick I was thinking it was going to be a, a lot closer, but it's it's a totally different gun. But the uh, so this is the uh, Air Venturi Little Duke, uh, John Wayne. I got some cobwebs on them, <laughs> but uh, let me see here. So It's interesting it does have a kind of a little peep sight type of arrangement there not a bad sight picture though that's pretty cool let's uh let's uh, before we do that let's uh blah. <laughs> stuff falling all around here but uh this is the actual daisy and uh yeah that loading gate is identical must be Probably made in the same place. The uh, the frame isn't identical though, so that's. But like the front, definitely. But let's go ahead and throw a few BBs in here and give it a try. Says you can load up to 650 BBs. We don't need to go that. Does have a, a ratcheting uh, safety like like the. Uh, oh, I think my BB just fell out the muzzle. Oh, <laughs> that's that's why they're falling out because I forgot to close the loading gate. Oh, what a waste. <laughs> Can't tell is that going through the can? Let me take a look at that can real quick. Oh, 
Oh yeah, definitely going all the way through, no problem there. So <laughs> we'll, we'll be doing a full review on it, get it across the chronograph, make sure it's, so it says it's up to 300 feet per second. The other two claim to be up to 350, so uh, we'll have to be putting those to the test head to head for sure. But uh, it's pretty cheap. It's a little bit more expensive than the Daisy, but uh, only by a couple dollars, so. I do like that it uh, has hardware. You could take it apart and maybe repair it if it need be. The uh, oh, oh, on the ground already. So the John Wayne one is all riveted together. Oh crud! This is not. This is not going well. <laughs> I do like that large lever loop though. <clears throat> All right, back at it. So this other one is one I've been looking for. I've got the Daisy 880. Actually, I got an 822 I just picked up recently. I have a 922 out here. Uh, but uh, apparently this one's supposed to be a little bit stronger. But it, it is very Daisy uh, 880 reminiscent. <laughs> does have a pack-in scope. We'll play with that down the road. But, uh, it's just a little, a little 4x32. But uh, got a set of instructions in there. Nothing else to speak of in the box. So we'll set that off to the side here. But yeah, I've been wanting to get one of these. Uh, just the Winchester... The 1977 XS. <clears throat> Not sure what the XS stands for. 1977. Rifle barrel. Winchester air rifles. Made in China. 177 caliber. Can run BBs in it if you want. I wouldn't recommend it with a rifle barrel. Alright, we're going to break the seal. <laughs> Alright, cocking handle just like the 880. Definitely can feel <laughs> it's pumping up uh, quite a bit more than the So even with just five pumps, uh, I believe that's shooting stronger. Sounds like it's shooting stronger than the uh, 880. We'll be putting that to the test too. Again, this is just a quick unboxing for both of these. Let's just try three pumps. Still lots of power. <laughs> let's do, let's only do one or two pumps. Let's do two pumps first. I wonder if I didn't read the instructions, so I wonder if it's some guns say minimum of two pumps. Let's just try one. <laughs> just barely <laughs> so, so two pumps is probably the the minimum you need to really uh, effectively use this for plinking anyway it's got some good power with two pumps <clears throat> uh, pretty sure it goes up to 10 pumps I'll have to read up on it but uh, there you go that's pretty cool definitely can feel that it's uh, pumping up sure looks like the same pump mechanism maybe a couple extra o-rings there help build up a little bit better pressure but uh, definitely I can hear the uh, air going out the barrel without cocking it first just like the 880s does <laughs> do <clears throat> but uh, there you go pretty cool stuff just uh, real quick uh, unboxing for you guys 
uh, no mail call I do have a few things coming in the mail uh, should be here pretty soon but uh, so far just local pickups <laughs> hope you guys like the video stay tuned for more uh, on both of these guys for sure till next time have a great day